typical expressions to interact in the conversations that we normally have every day. What are these expressions? Today, we explore different alternatives, different expressions to communicate in English. I have a question for you. Read the chat. Do you have good memory? Your memory, is it good? Is it bad? Do you have a good memory? Write in the chat. Respond then in the chat, please. Do you have a good memory? 
Ok, Esteban, you can see there you have memory. Elvia Barreto, no. <laughs> ok, no problem. María Méndez, yes, ok. María Espitia, more or less. Ok, no problem. John Parra, no. Right. Alejandra says yes, and Alejandro Gómez says yes. Ok. Kevin, Kevin says, yes, I consider that. Mm, ok, fantastic. Fantastic. Anderson Sanchez says, depends on the situation. <laughs> okay, right, I see. But what about the rest of you people? Participation, right? Participation. The question is, do you have a good memory? Okay, Adriana Parra says, yes. Jeffrey says, yes. Okay, fantastic. At this moment, wow, at this moment, we have many participants, which is very, very good. Okay. Right. Diana, Diana says, not very good. Mariana Menezes says, so, so. Okay. For this first activity, my friends, I want to explore common expressions in a conversation. Okay? That's the first part of this session today. Common expressions in a conversation. Hmm. Well, let's practice with memory. And here, let's explore in English what we normally consider as greetings. Oh, but in this part, let's pause. In the activity today, you have the possibility to use dictionaries. No problem, right? What is greetings in Spanish? You can raise the hand and participate. You can write in the chat. You can speak. Okay. What is greetings in Spanish? Yeah, Mariana, excellent, very good. Saludos, exactly, very good, saludos. So, expressions in a conversation that we normally use to start the conversation. Okay, let's play this game. And for this game, I want to listen to you. I listen to you, okay? Let's remember the numbers. Attention to this. In English, we have different numbers. For example, in English, we have number one, okay? This is the number one, okay? We have the number two. What is the next number after number two? Three. One, two, three. what's the next number? Tell me. Three. 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 Three, exactly. So this is number three. And this is number four. Four, five. Okay. Excellent, five. excellent. Very good. I want to listen to different participants. Four. Okay. Five. Continue. Five. So this here, let's let's check it, my friends. This here is number five. Okay. Six. six. Seven. Eight. 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 Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And twelve. Okay, awesome. Very good. Very good. I have twelve cards at this moment. Some cards have a picture. For example, this one. It has a picture. And some cards have text. For example, this. The activity is very simple. Please match the pictures and the expressions. To participate, please raise the hand. Simply indicate the number. 
tell me two numbers, two and six, for example, 12 and one. So we can find the connections there, okay? All right, I have different participants at this moment. Okay, excellent, excellent. Let's see, Gabriela, Gabriela Sofia, you're raising the hand, go. Okay, um, I choose a uh, number two and the number nine. Okay, number two, it's this one right here. And number nine, yes. right? Okay, and number nine, it's this one right here. Two and nine, oh. I'm afraid that's not correct. Okay. <laughs> okay. Adriana Parra, you're the next one. Okay. Um, three. All right. Three. Three. That's the number. Just give me a second. Okay. So um, you say three. Okay. And? Seven. And seven. And seven. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, there is a little problem here. Don't worry, let's continue playing. Right, I guess Maria Valentina Spidia. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid Maria is not, is not there. Um, Stefan. Okay, I will choose the numbers five and nine. Number five, this one here, and number sure. no, it, is, it is always six. One, two, three. Oh, my, my excuses. Yes, you're exactly. right. You're right. Yes, you said number five, right? Yes, number five and then number nine. And number nine. Okay, let me. I should right here, excuse me, excuse me. So you said number five, this one yes. here, and number nine. nine. No, that, that was not the correct option, right? Okay, tell me. Okay. So, Adriana Parra, you're raising the hand. Okay, uh, number three and six. Number three? Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, is it two or three? Three. Three, so you said number three, this one, okay. Oh no, and six. <laughs> <What are wrong>? <laughs> <laughs> And you need to choose other different number. I want to repeat. <laughs> and six. Oh. And number, uh, you need to choose other number. Six. Okay. Um, 12. 12. So you go for 12. 12. Okay. Give me a second. Six, you said? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Um, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. No. Okay, I guess it changed. Right, people, let's continue playing. Don't worry. Maria Fernanda Lopez. Maria, okay, I guess she's not there. Elvia, Elvia Barreto. Hi, Hi Elvia. <laughs> Hi, Elvia. Um, cars and number and seven, um, car and number one. Number seven and number one. One, two, three, yes. four, five, six, seven. And car number? Uh, one. One. No, no. There is no connection. Remember, Done. picture and text. Match them. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, Maria Valentina Spitia. You're there. Oh. 
Uh, teacher. Um, three. Okay, three. Is this one, three. Good night. Mm -hmm. Five. And number five? Yes. Okay, and number five. Good night. Okay, excellent. That's right, very good. Good job. Okay, that's the first greeting we're exploring. Good night. Okay, Gabriela Perez, there's the next one, please. Um, the number six and the number nine. Again. Okay. Number six. Yes. Okay. Number six is this one right here. And number? Um, <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Just other different number, no problem. Okay, um, 10. 10. Yep. 10. This one right here, 10. Good morning. Oh my God. <laughs> Great expression, but don't worry. Let's keep on playing, right? Uh, I, I, I see Esteban. Esteban. Hi, Esteban. Hello. I'm not sure, but consider this the card two and the card 10. Card number two and card number 10, right? Yes. Okay, let's explore them. Card number two, it's this one. Okay, get the picture. And number 10. Good morning. No, I'm sorry, but it is not. Okay, don't worry guys, let's continue playing. Diana Gomez. Diana, you're there, raising the hand. Hello, Diana. Hello, teacher. Uh, one. Tell me. One. Number one. Okay. Number um, one. Number one. Uh, ten. A number. Ten. Number ten. This one right here. Good morning. Oh, it was very close. Very close, but I'm sorry, that's not the correct option. Come on, people, continue, continue playing. Tell me, tell me more options. Gabriela, Gabriela Sofia Perez, continue, please. Uh, the number four. Number four, okay, number four. This one right here, hello, hi. And um, the number hmm, 12. Number 12, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. Good evening. No, <laughs> <laughs> that was not the correct option. Okay, let's continue playing. Kevin, Kevin Buzan. Hello, Kevin. Kevin, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. And um, teacher, the the card one and. Nine. Card number one, okay. And card number nine, right? Yes. That's goodbye. No, that's not the match. Okay, thank you. Estefania Martinez, you're the next one. Estefania, hello. Stefania Martinez, can you hear me? Stefania, hello. Well, Stefania is not online. Okay, Esteban, do I say? Esteban, tell me. Okay, uh, the number six and the number four. And number four. Okay, number six. This one right here, and number four. Hello and hi, excellent, that's match. Okay, good job, you did it. There is the next participant, whose name is RC, RC. 
I don't know RC. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Uh, number one and number twelve. Number no, number one and number twelve. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay, and number twelve. Good evening. Okay, that's a match. Congratulations. Good job. Okay. That's right. Very good. Okay, Martin Flores, you're the next one. Hello. Um, Hello. Nine and ten. Can you repeat, please? Nine and nine. Ten. Okay, let, let, let me check. Nine and ten. 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 Yes. Right. Right. Okay. Number nine and number ten. Goodbye. Good morning. No, that's not a match. I'm sorry. Alejandra Sokolaki. Alejandra. Um, uh, number seven. Yeah, number seven. In number seven. ten. And number ten. Good morning. Yeah, you nailed it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. There is other different expression. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, almost there. Diana, Valentina Contreras. Um, two. Number two. Um, nine. And number nine. That's a match. Very good. When you say goodbye, right? You see the two people there saying goodbye. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. I want to see a participant, Martin Flores. You're the next person raising the hand. Martin, you tell me. Number eight. Number eight, okay. Eight. Um, eleven. And number eleven, right? Eleven. Almost there. Stefan. Okay, it is the number eight and the number ten. Number eight and number ten. ten. Oh, <laughs> no, that's not the match. I'm sorry, Alejandra. You see, you, you're raising the hand. Alejandra, so like number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Alejandra. Eleven. And number 11. Yes. And number 11. Oh, 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 that was not a match. Right? Okay, let's give the opportunity to finish. RC. You are the next person. RC. RC? Hi. Hi. And what, what is your name? Uh, my name is Angela. Ah, Angela, right, okay, so we identify, RC is Angela, okay, Angela. Caramba, a number, a num, uh, number eight. Number eight, okay, number eight. Number seven. And number seven. Okay, that's a match, good afternoon. Okay, excellent, you did it. Okay, Thank can I give you one more participant? Thank you. One participant, one more participant to finish. One volunteer. Okay, Adriana, Adriana. <laughs> oh, it's difficult. Relax, Adriana. <laughs> 10 and 11. I have, I have to think it's difficult. On yes, 10. it's a difficult moment. I know. Yes, 10 and 11. 10 and 11. Yes. 
Are you sure? <laughs> of course. Any level. Consider your decision, please. Uh, yes. If you want, you can make a phone call, contact one friend for help. No? Maybe later, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's see. Wow. It's a moment to be nervous. <laughs> Ten. And eleven. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay, so you got it. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Okay, yeah, excellent. Very good. That's great. Well, my friends, what is the correct expression at this moment? In Colombia, is it good morning? Is it good afternoon? Good evening? Good night? Good afternoon. Absolutely, good afternoon, right? Okay. So again, good afternoon to all people, right? And in English, we normally start these conversations with these expressions, right? There are formal greetings. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Oh, by the way, good night. Remember that in English we say good night when we go to sleep, right? That's important. And when we finish the conversation, we use expressions like goodbye or bye bye or maybe other different expressions. But the question I have for you at this moment is, my friends, the question is, okay, and what expressions do you remember? What expressions do you use in a conversation? In a normal conversation, apart from good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bye-bye, what expressions do you include in a conversation? Write in the chat. In the chat so i can see your participation there other questions other expressions that we use in a conversation in english you can write in the chat so hey yeah excellent paula you use how are you that's excellent very good yeah how laura valentina soler hello absolutely anderson what's new or how is it going excellent expressions similar to how are you absolutely hey well that's an expression gabriela mm -hmm. how do you oh jennifer jennifer that, that expression is incomplete right how do you do, for example, right? How, how do you do is a correct expression in that case. Jennifer Vargas. Okay. Um, Gabriela, Sofia Perez. Well, Gabriela, the expression, the expression in English is how are you doing? How are you doing? That's the correct expression in English. Well, I see here other people participate with questions. Hi, dear, how about you? Mm -hmm. Okay, that expression, how about you? Very similar to the expression, and you? It's fantastic. Andres Hoyos says, how do you feel? Perfect, very good. I like that expression. Yeah, that's a very, very good one. Adriana Parra says, what's up? Mm -hmm. What's up? And what's up is not the app that we have on the telephones. You know, WhatsApp is an expression that we use in conversations in English. Fantastic, very good. How is your day, Anderson? Very nice job. How is the weather? Esteban, how is the weather? The weather at this moment in Bogota is crazy. It is raining a lot. Okay. And Angela says, how are you doing? Okay, very good. My friends, let's explore some expressions. Oh, Gabriela says, rainy day. Yes, absolutely. Very, very rainy. The weather in Bogota is absolutely crazy. 
one moment of the day, it is very hot. Another moment of the day, it's very cold. And at this moment, it is raining. Hmm. So Bogota is the combination of different characteristics of weather. Hmm. It's bowling dogs, well, Esteban. Well, the expression that we have in English is, it, the expression in English is, uh, it's raining cats and dogs. That's the expression that we have in English. It's raining cats and dogs. It's raining a lot. There is hard rain, right? Heavy rain. Okay. And all right, well, that's fantastic, very good. We have in English other different, other different uh, expressions, other different questions, right? That we need to consider, right? For example, well, let's make a combination of different expressions I checked in the chat, right? We have, well, expressions like um, open second, let me write down right here, right? So, how are you? That's fantastic, right? How are you? It's a very common expression that we use in English. How are you? People, how are you today? How are you today? Fine, okay, right, remember that it is possible to participate in speaking, okay? So, how are you today? Energetic? Motivated? Oh, some people say sick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's normal in these days, no problem. Jeffrey, you are sad? Why? Well, good energy for Jeffrey. Adriana, tell me, how are you today? Uh, teacher, I am, uh, today I feel great. Oh, you feel fantastic, with a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. I'm probably very happy because you are participating in the first session of In English, Please, at the university. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's right, very good. Very nice moment to practice English. Okay, but I remember I checked other similar expressions. How are you? How do you do? Right? Which is fantastic because it's very similar to how are you. And it's also very formal. Mm, I like it. Well, other expressions that maybe are not so formal, but they are correct in English. How are you doing? Right? Um, this expression, what's up? Right, what's up? Well, that's a very nice expression. What's up? Okay, that was cool. Right, what's up? Other expressions, other expressions I saw there. How is your day? I love this, this question. How is your day? Okay, it's very nice. Well, maybe you can use these expressions in the conversations that you have in English. That's fantastic, okay. But let's continue exploring more options. Let's continue exploring more expressions in a conversation. Guys, do you want to play a game? Do you want to play a game? Do you like games? Yes. Yes. Because I prepared for you a game today to interact, right? To participate a lot. Okay. Um, well, for this game, it is necessary to use your computer or maybe your phone. There's no problem, right? And in the chat, everybody, in the chat, you will see a link, right? Let's just click on the link. You can write there your, your name, okay? Just hold on 
the second. Just hold on a second. I'm going to share my screen again. So we can all play the game. Just a moment. I suppose everybody can see my screen, right? Okay, click on the link there in the chat. All right. I can see the first participant. The second one there is John, Alejandro, Esteban. Maria Fernanda Lopez, excellent. Okay, Anderson. Alexis. Henry. Gabriela, good job. Olvia, nice. One, Diana Valentina, Diana Gomez. Okay, you have 12 participants at this moment. Come on, people, let's click on the link. Write your name, and we are going to be ready to start this first game in our first session of in English, please. Sponsored by the Catholic University and the Language Institute. Paola, Andres, Martin, Valentina, 18 participants. That's nice. Okay, let's wait maybe a couple of minutes more. Okay. Paola, Kevin, that's nice. 19 participants. Okay, 20 participants. I have to load in at this moment. Okay. Okay, with these 12 participants, it's 20, 20 participants that we have in this moment. Well, in total, there are 33 people in the... No, well, yeah. <laughs> that's not scary. No, it's just a game. Remember that here, in these activities, there are no negative consequences, right? I am not evaluating you. We are practicing English. That's the objective, to practice English, to interact, to play games, to experience English. Okay. Well, I suppose we can start this activity, this game, 20 people participating. Okay. Okay. Check your phone, right? Check your phone. And then there we have. Okay, let's see. I invite Diana, okay, Diana's ready. And Juan, is Juan ready? Come on, one. Remember, a formal greeting is. Let's see if one answers. Okay, one. Are you there, one? Okay, so what is the formal greeting? Well, many people say here, good morning. Okay, good morning. It's a very good way to start a conversation in a formal context. Hi, well, hi is a little bit informal. Howdy is an informal expression, and howdy is like the contraction 
of the question, how do you do? It's informal, healthy. It is possible, but it is informal. Good day. Mm, no, I am not sure. Good day is a, is a nice option here, right? Good morning is excellent. Okay, very good. Let us continue with the next one. Next question. What is an informal farewell? A farewell is an expression to finish the conversation. But which one is an informal farewell? That's the question. Okay, 16, 17 participants. Okay, let's see. We're waiting for Kevin. Yeah, at this moment, we are waiting for Kevin. Okay, excellent. Let's see. What is an informal farewell? Okay. At this moment, we have Alejandro as the leader of this exercise, and Esteban, congratulations. And he asks, well, the informal farewell is see ya. Well, see ya or see you is an informal farewell, probably in conversations with your friends, with your family. Um, but it is not a good alternative, for example, in the university or maybe in the office. No, it's better to say goodbye or maybe to say goodnight. Okay. Don't worry, people, it's just a game, right? And with this game, we explore English, especially in the next question. Think about the next question. Right? Okay, it's a conversation. Hi, Annie. And other person says, Hi, Andrew. How are you? What is a typical answer? Hmm? How are you? What is a typical answer in this conversation? Write an option, write an alternative. What is a possible answer in this case? Okay, let's see, I have 16, 16, 17 people participating. Okay, John, Diana, and Juan, we're waiting for you. Okay, John is ready. Diana, Valentina Contreras, and Juan. Okay, now we're waiting for Juan. Oh, and Valentina is ready now. Okay, excellent. So, let's see. Wow, there is a new leader, Anderson. Nice, good job. But let's explore the answers here, right? We have different options, different alternatives to continue this conversation. Hi, hey, Andrew, how are you? Well, it is possible to say, for example, I am fine, I am good, I am okay, right? But it's important, my friends, it's very important to use complete sentences because all the information makes an answer formal. When you say, for example, fine, good, mm, yeah, maybe that's a little informal, right? And well, the idea, the objective is to um, is to participate or in a conversation, to interact in a conversation with formal questions, okay? All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Martin says, no me parece, no somos tan secos. <laughs> yes, that, that, that's a problem. Colombian people are so happy and they, we are so expressive, right? But sometimes in English, they are so formal and they get to the point. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. Elvia says, I am fine. Thanks. Well, well, obviously, I am fine is a correct option. Thanks is, is correct, Elvia. Don't worry. It's a very nice alternative. Okay. 
Esteban, Esteban, um, well, you said I am fine, but pay attention to the contraction there, like I am fine. That's the correct alternative in English, you know, right? I'm fine. Okay. Well, let's continue playing this game, right? The next part is very interesting, in my opinion, right? But let's see how you guys answer the next question. Very interesting. Complete this question. Simply complete the question. What is the correct word in English to complete this question? Okay, we have 20 participants at this moment. Let's wait for Kevin, Lorena, Laura, Soled, right? Kevin, are you ready? Laura, Soled, are you ready? Okay, it's just one word. One word that is usually confusing for people who speak Spanish as the native language. Okay, I guess I'm going to stop this question here. Okay. And let's explore the correct answer. Well, Anderson, it seems you are the leader of this exercise. Congratulations. But what is the correct answer? The correct answer is your, your, right? Your, what's your name? Basic question that we have in English. Uh, what's your in English? In Spanish, excuse me. What is your in Spanish? Tu? Okay, that's one alternative. And what's the other alternative for, for this word in Spanish? Su. 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 Su nombre. Right, exactly. Su. And just uh, an, an interesting fact, okay? Su in English has five different alternatives. Your, his, her, its. And there are five different alternatives to say su in English. And people normally select the option the your to say su in English. Mm, we need to consider all the alternatives to say su in English. Okay. Well, let's go to the last part of this activity, right? Of this first session of in English please sponsored by the Catholic University and well let's organize this and scramble right what is the correct option what is the correct alternative to unscramble all of those words hmm? Is it the first one? Is it the second one? Is it the third one? Okay, we have here 20 people participating, 21 people, right? And we have Kevin, Laura, Laura's over there. Okay, Laura is, well, Laura has, is participating in four different profiles. <laughs> okay. Well, let's conclude this round. Right? Okay, let's see. So what is the correct answer? Well, Anderson, you are the leader of this exercise. Congratulations, very good. And the correct answer is, hello, my name is Michael. A basic expression to introduce yourselves, right? 
So, in my case, for example, hello, my name is Ivan, right? I am a teacher. I work at Catholic University. I am from Colombia. I am from Bogota, right? And you, I want to listen to you, to some participants. Who are you? Who are you? People, who are you? Ken, it is too. Who are you? Let's participate to finish the first session of in English, please. Who are you? Any participant? For example, hello, I am Ivan. And you? Hello, okay. my name is um, Maria Fernanda. Yeah. Um, What is your occupation, Maria Fernanda? My occupation, um, a student. Excellent. Very good, Maria Fernanda. Nice. Good job. Okay. Do we have any other participant? Come on. Any volunteer, any participant of the big heart, valiant person. Okay. Vanessa. Hello, teacher. My name is Vanessa Garcia. I my profession is mm -hmm. a lawyer. Lawyer, nice, nice, excellent, very good. Jeffrey, Jeffrey says, hello, my name is Jeffrey and I'm a student. Okay, excellent, Juan Camilo, what about you? My name is Juan Camilo and I am a student. Okay, excellent, good to know that. All right. Okay, people, this is officially the first session of In English, Please. And I sent you an invitation to participate next week, exactly at the same time, from four to five on Thursday, because next session, we have a special guest. La próxima sesión tenemos una invitada muy especial. Okay? So, invitation people to participate next session in English, please. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Muchas gracias a todos por su asistencia. Recuerden que nos vemos el próximo miércoles a la misma hora de 4 a 5 p.m. Seguiremos manejando el mismo link. Y adicional a eso, les voy a adjuntar la información en el chat para que en nuestro Padlet puedan ver la información, lo que es material de apoyo y demás. Muchas gracias y que tengan una excelente tarde. Bye, bye. Goodbye. Teacher, thank bye. you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank Thanks for your participation. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.